Hello and welcome to my multi-MC tutorial. In this video we will be covering setting up our first instance and then we will also be looking at how to install Forge and Fabric and how you can easily install mods. I just feel like all of those fit well together. So let's get started. Now, if you don't know what Multi-MC is, I recommend checking out the playlist for this tutorial series. I will leave a link down below in the description where I will be explaining what Multi-MC is, also how to install it and all that good stuff. Let's get right into it. So, we want to click Add Instance. This is the first profile or the first installation, quote unquote, that we're going to make. We will need to give it a name. I'm going to make this into tutorial and I'm going to make a couple here so you can see what's really good about this and how easy it actually is to make multiple profiles so this one i want to call tutorial 1.16.2 the latest Minecraft version down here we have all the Minecraft versions all the way from 1.16.2 all the way down to 1.0 if you want snapshots you just click here and all the snapshots are available you can also say old snapshots betas alphas and experiments such as the combat update i just want the release for this one and that is it. Uh, I can give it a group, so it comes into a specific group, so I can maybe make a group called modded. I can also make a group that's called non-modded, for example. I'm just going to call this non-modded, because I want this one non-modded. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Press OK, and boom. I forgot to mention that you can actually change the icon here, and MultiMC comes with these icons you see right here. Um, you can change the icon either when you make it, so just click here and it will pop up eventually. There we go. <laughs> and over here, you can just click here and you can always change the icon if you wish. I'm going to choose the fox because why not? And that is pretty much it. Now, if we go into Edit Instance, then we have some more options. In here, inside Edit Instance, the button right out here, you can select Minecraft and then you can click Change Version and then you can change it to the version that you want, including all the snapshots and all that good stuff and beta and all of that, it's in here. So you can change that. You can load mods, resource packs, you can have notes for your world or with the profile. You can have a list of the worlds, the list of the servers, this a list of the screenshots, and then the Java settings that we've already set up in a previous video. Everything in here, you can make it so that it gives a so this specific one opens in a specific fixed resolution window. So for example, game window start Minecraft maximized. If I want this one to start maximized, but I don't want any of my other instances to start that way, then I can do just that. Also, again, we have the console settings. So if we want the console to show when the game is running and stuff like that. So that is pretty much it. We've already set it up. All we would have to do now is click launch or double click it and it would launch Minecraft 1.16.2. Now, if we wanted to, I'm just going to make another instance. I'm going to call this one 1.16.2 fabric and this one will be modded. This will be in a modded group. Uh, I still want 1.16.2 and I'll click OK. And here you can see that we now have two different groups right here. Why is this one not named? Okay, so for some reason I had to go in here, have it selected, click change group. It was already here, but it just had the blank one in, uh, selected, so just keep that in mind. But now we have modded and we have non-modded as well right there. Now you may notice we have not installed Fabric yet, but it's super easy. If we go back into Edit Instance once again, and then out here, instead of change version, and instead of customize, you can see down here, it's just one click away. All I have to do is click install fabric, just like this. Install fabric and here are all the different versions for fabric right here. I of course want the newest one right here. Click install and boom, fabric is installed. You don't have to do anything else. Super easy, super fancy. I'm gonna make another instance here. I'm gonna make this one 1.16.2. And you know what, let's, let's do 1.12.2. That's for fun. This one is going to be modded as well. I'm just going to change this to gold because why not? We want some variety. So in here, now this one is in the modded group. Now we go into edit instance. I want this one to be forged. So I'm going to go ahead and install forge. It loads all the versions and here are all the versions for forge. I want this one. I'm going to choose that one 
And there we go, it's done. And just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna launch this one and you'll see that we're actually loading up with Fabric. So really, really quickly here, the first time you launch it, it will get all the files from Ojang installing your profile and stuff because you haven't actually launched it yet. So now it's downloading all the files and assets it needs and such. All right, Minecraft has launched. And as you can see, we have Fabric loaded right here. Now I'm quickly going to show you how to actually then install Fabric mods. It's super easy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go into edit instance and as you can see here is actually the Minecraft log. As you can see, it is really nice to be able to, to view its colored and everything. So it's easy to see and keep an eye on what is going on. Uh, warnings and errors will also be highlighted. So that is really, really cool. Um, now, if we go into the loader mods and we click add, then it will pop up here. And then we go into the downloads folder and then I will include OptiFabric and OptiFine because those two are the ones that you need. I'm gonna open and they are loaded. Boom, installed. Now, if you for some reason have some mods that you don't want loaded in when you launch Minecraft, you could just untick them and boom, they won't be loaded in. That is really cool. Now all we gotta do is close and launch again and we should launch with OptiFine. And boom, now you can see we have OptiFine installed and you can see that if we go into video settings, this is the OptiFine settings right there. And it's the same with Forge. If we go in here, we select 1.4.2, we go into edit instance, we go into loader mods, and then we add, and then we add for this demonstration, I'm just gonna add mantle and Tinker's construct, just for demonstration purposes, just like that. Again, we can disable or enable or do it manually by ticking the box out here. And boom, that is all. Click launch and we'll launch in Minecraft Forge 1.12.2 with Tinker's construct installed. Okay, so I actually did a mistake here. So I need to go back into Minecraft and accidentally I chose 1.16.2. So this is an excellent dem demonstration. I'm just going to change version and we go down to 1.12.2. Here it is, right there. Choose that. And then we also need to change the Forge to so change version. And now these are the 1.12.2 versions of Forge right here loaded because it detects our Minecraft version. We're gonna go with the top one. There we go. It replaces the Forge version and there we go. Now we can launch and everything should be fine. And here you can already see that it's working. We have Forge loading and the mods loading down here. And any minute now we should be in Minecraft powered by Forge, six mods loaded. If we go into mods, we should see Mantle and Tinker's Construct right there. And here is another excellent demonstration of the Minecraft log. The warning is in orange or yellow and the arrows are in red right here. And the cool thing about the Minecraft log is you can also copy the entire thing or you can upload it and you can also clear it. And this is really, really handy if you need to, if you need to do like a bug report or something like that. Now I want a resource pack and I don't want that in uh, 1.12.2. I want that in, let's do this one. So edit instance resource pack. I have already downloaded a resource pack right here, faithful, and I'm gonna install that right there. And I'm going to, that's 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 all I need to do, really. <laughs> that's all I need to do. Launch and the resource pack will be there. And here we are, Minecraft 1.16.2, options, resource pack, boom. We have the faithful pack right here. Now, if you have Optifine installed and want to install shaders, unfortunately, there isn't a shader tab right here. I'm hoping maybe they will be able to make it so it can detect when Optifine is installed, but it's simple to do without that functionality. If we just go in here, we have 1.16.2 fabric with Optifine installed. Just click Minecraft folder and then into the shader packs folder right here. This is where you would need to put your uh, downloaded um, Shader pack. So if I go in here into downloads, I have Sildas Enhanced default. I just need to drag it over to Shader Packs, just like that, and it's installed. Super simple. I'm gonna launch it, and you'll see it for yourself. Now, if you go into options, video settings, shaders, you can see Sildas Enhanced default. I'm going to equip that and just really quite quickly jump into a world. Just I don't need to, but I wanna. And here we are in the world with shaders and everything. You can see the leaves and the lighting and everything. Everything looking pretty good. Now a quick note, if you have launched Minecraft and for some reason want to kill it, there is a kill option right out here where the launch button was. If we click that, just like that, this can cause instance to get corrupted and should only be used if Minecraft is frozen for some reason. So keep that in mind 
but go ahead and there we go. We killed it. Process was killed by user. And as a final demonstration here, we have 1.16.2 fabric uh, profile selected here. And in worlds, you can now see the world that I made. We can rename, copy, remove. Uh, if we have MC edit, we can do that. Copy seed. And if we had servers, we could have those listed as well, screenshots. And we have the other logs as well that you can choose. So you can go back in time for the different logs that you would want to take a look at. Really quickly, change group is here. Minecraft folder is here. Config folder, if you need to get into the into the configs folder right here. Um, I'm actually going to do that with the Forge one config folder. And here you can see the Forge configs and the Tinker's construct and stuff like that the instance folder is in here this is pretty much the dot micro folder inside of that instance so in here if you need to change something specific inside here you can see here's the saves folder resource pack screenshots and everything like that so if you want to get in here you can just click minecraft folder um actually instance folder is just outside the minecraft folder so for whatever reason you would need to be in here those two are right there you can manage screenshots and it, this many screenshots and view worlds and edit notes uh, simply opens up the same one. Same with the edit instance, but it's just a shortcut for you to quickly get to the tab that you need to be at. Edit instance just opens up the main, like the instance window, but these down here, they open up specifically for that specific tab. Now, finally, say you want to export your instance and import it let's say on another PC, maybe you are bringing it on a laptop or something like that. All you would need to do is click export instance and choose the ones that you want to export and press OK and then choose a folder where it should be put into. I'm going to put it into downloads just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hit over here. I exported the 1.12.2. I'm going to delete it just like that. Yes, I'm sure I want to delete it. And then I go into add instance and then import from zip. I'm going to give it a name 1.12.2. I'm going to give it the group modded because it's modded and then the local file. So browse and then the zip file right here, open and press OK. And boom, we have 1.12. Point two right there should also be noted that you can copy the instance right down here if you wanted a duplicate once you do that you can put in a new name a new icon the group and if you want to copy the saves and keep playtime and that is pretty much it this is going to wrap up this tutorial in the next one we will be looking at how to install mod packs and that is going to be really cool so be sure to check that out. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them down below in the comments. And also the next one. Hope you learned something and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.